Hello there, everybody. Sabata92, aka Nightmare, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode, I kind of got a little. Where do I even begin with last time, er, the last episode? So we discover the Flame Emperor was Edelgard the entire time, and me, like a doofus, I accidentally confused the uh, Flame Emperor and the Death Knight. I I apologize for that. Um. So yeah, um, I know I'm going to be going like through the other route, so admittedly, I don't know what Edelgard's motivation is, but I went back to like some of the previous scenes that I saw involving the Flame Emperor, and it seems like from the way it looks, it feels weird kind of cons like it, it, saying they're the same person at this point. But, just the way that she was acting among those, among Kronia and that other guy. It wasn't Solon, but I cannot remember what his name was. The way that she was acting around them. It made me think that, I'm not entirely sure. Like, she doesn't seem like she's too friendly buddy-buddy with them, you know? I'm not entirely sure. As well as seeing Dimitri's freak out, which... You want to know the sad part is? I'd probably end up the same way at that point. Although the way he handled those uh, people, who boy. Now I kind of understand why Felix calls him a beast. Because my god, he was a beast. Alright, I'm not entirely sure how much we can get done today, but... Oh, oh yeah, uh, she declared war. So that's good. Well, I'll be. Clearly. Oh, um, concerning the uh, trade secrets, apparently I've got to collect a few of them. So, I was having so much trouble trying to figure out how to do that, I got to collect a bunch of them. So, my bad. I can't believe the Empire raised an army. Even I couldn't have guessed it. I think I feel. War is profitable, but dangerous. I really don't like seeing people I care about out there mixed up in all this. Neither do I. Oh yeah, I forgot you gave me faith training. I forgot about that. Hmm. Also, it looks like we still have members of the Black Eagle still here. You know, Professor, I'm glad that I came to the Officer's Academy. I feel accepted here. Oh. I've learned so much. Honestly, I'm surprised at how much I've grown. So, I will not let the Academy be destroyed. It's important to me, and I will protect it. I believe in you, Ignatz. I feel the same. I feel braver just hearing you say that, Professor. We're gonna win this, Professor. That's right, you're a good boy. You shall receive head pats. Although I can't do that. I can only do that to kid or kittens. Actually, I'm pretty sure it'd be very awkward if I did that to you. So, have a good day. I gotta go talk to Best Gatekeeper over here now. Greetings, Professor. Something to report. Unexpected, isn't it? Wow. Interesting. Apparently, this is the first time Garrick Mach has been invaded in its whole 995 year history. I know, damn it. What, just five more years and we would have reached a thousand. It's my job to protect this gate, so even if enemies come in droves, I will never let them through. Good. I hope we both survive. Let's battle with all our might and pray we win this thing. Yes. I believe in you, gatekeeper. Now then. I have a few more people to talk to. Also, since I think one of the requirements to get, uh, um, to get Raphael into my team is, I think it was heavy armor training, I'm going to go ahead and talk to any of the professors that teach me some of that, so that way I can try to get him in the party this month. Half of the Empire's six great noble families have declared their support for Edelgard. Well, shit! Of the other three, Lord Vestral was assassinated. Hubert, his son, will succeed him. Hmm. How odd. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is under house arrest. His wife is now supporting Edelgard. Oh, shit. And my father. He was stripped of his role as prime minister. As a result, House Iyer has lost all of its power, all of its lands. We have lost everything. Shit. I... I... What do I do? I... I... I don't know. 
Oh, shit. It never even occurred to me that other members of the Black Eagle House might be negatively affected by what Edelgard did. Oh, shit. I hope, I hope, I hope Bernadette is okay. Ugh. Hmm. Sorry. Um. Oh, Gilbert, you might be able to give me some training. There are always small power struggles, still. It has been hundreds of years since all of Fodland was consumed by war. I didn't actually think it would come to this. I feel as though I'm not in my rightful place. I cannot protect the things I should. Professor, if I survive this war, I wish to return to my homeland, to the land of my king. Can you join me? Damn it! Uh, I'll take your training then. I'll take it, thank you. Practice yields results. <sighs> Damn. Oh, Shamir. Hey. Hey. We're falling behind. I don't know that we can keep up with the new Emperor. To think that she was able to raise an army of that size right under our noses. To think that she's been planning this for so damn long. However hard we fight, I give us a 50% chance of winning. I'll make that 50 100. The enemy has too many advantages. We must make careful preparations. Got it. You be careful, girl. I need to keep my waifu alive, damn it. Hmm. Hello? Anybody else over here? New bottle of perfume. Hooray! Ugh. Oh. Hey. What is Edelgard even trying to achieve? She wants to destroy the church so badly that she'll take on anyone who doesn't fall in line? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Her ideals are in conflict with yours. I just can't believe she'd start a war over it. Not to mention using such nasty tactics to get her way. Right. Could Captain Gerald's death have also been a part of her plan? Well, I've taken some time to, you know... To kind of think about it. I don't know. I don't know. I think that was entirely Kronia and Solon and that one guy's main plan. I'm not entirely sure if it was the Flame Emperor that was okay with that or not. And I know I keep referring to Edel I know I keep referring to Edelgard and Flame Emperor as two different things, but I'm just <sighs> Don't you go and die on me, Professor. Captain Gerald would never forgive you. No, he'd probably kick me right out of the netherworld saying, Get back to work, boy! Probably. Maybe not. It all depends. Hey, Claude. The Empire is moving quickly. Edelgard must have been preparing for this for a while now. Yeah. You could say that she might have been preparing it since the very beginning of this. If you really think about it, she must have been planning for this even before you got the Sword of the Creator. That's what I'm saying! Of course she was always a step ahead of us. We were blinded by the ball and the battle of the eagle and lion and everything else. And it did seem a little odd that those bandits at the very beginning just so happened to come, you know, out of nowhere right when all three leaders of the house happened to be teamed up. I mean, for crying out loud, it showed that it was the Flame Emperor that got those bandits, or put those, you know, who ordered those bandits to do what they were doing, and it's confirmed that the, that the Flame Emperor was Edelgard, this kind of makes me wonder how things would play out if I actually went to the Black Eagle house. Like, I imagine it would be probably a hell of a, of a betrayal. That or it makes me wonder how, like, if Edelgard would be open revealing, oh, by the way, I'm the Flame Emperor, or find somebody else to be like a fall guy or something like that. Those who serve the church must cast aside all selfish desires and devote themselves fully to their beliefs. But is it right to wield piety as a weapon? I have never considered such things before. Mm. The church, I, I have always done what I thought best to save the people of Fodlin. Mm -hmm. There's more people over here. Okay. Sorry, excuse me, ma'am. What the? I don't know. Oh, Dorothea, hey. Edelgard became emperor and raised an army, huh? I knew the kid had it in her. How are you holding up? I mean, 
Yeah, of course, I knew she'd be Emperor eventually, but the more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. Us or her, you mean? But would it really be okay for Edelgard to win? I don't know. I'm not gonna let her, but... Professor, what actually happened last month? I can't keep up at all. Well, let's see. Uh, we discovered who the Flame Emperor was. Right. And we stopped a bunch of bandits trying to steal the Crest Stones. Okay, I'm following. Oh, and by the way, Edelgard is the Flame Emperor, and now she's starting a war. Yeah, that's the part where I get lost. Wait, what? Edelgard is the Emperor? And she's declared war against the Church? So now we're at war? What is <laughs> going on? <laughs> I really don't understand any of this. What should I do? I don't know, boy. I don't know, nameless student. But it would seem that we're going to have to prepare for war. The Empire's aggression cannot stand. But if we are going to attack them now, we must be honest with ourselves about our chances of success. Right. It goes without saying that I will fight the Imperial Army with everything I have for as long as I am able. I believe in you. But House Gloucester's territory is adjacent to Imperial lands. Let us proceed with caution. Hmm. Got it. You're a good boy, Lorenz. Okay. Annette and Ash. Once the Imperial Army reaches the monastery, we'll have no choice but to fight. What's going to happen to us? Everything will be alright. I will keep my precious cinnamon roll safe! I believe you. With the knights on our side, and especially with you, Professor, I know we can do this. Good. I gotta keep my precious cinnamon bun safe, damn it. Maybe. Things must be pretty crazy in Fargus about now. My father must be beside himself. I imagine. I don't get it. Why did Edelgard make enemies with the nobles? Again, I don't know. I have no idea. Me either. Of course. Even if we did get it, what do we do about it? I hope this all gets sorted out quickly and safely. I'm worried about my father. Hmm. I don't blame you. Oh, crap. This is gonna be stressful, isn't it? You'll battle Edelgard, right? Good luck. Thank you. Me? Oh, I'm going to run away. I that... have zero interest in dying here, thank you very much. But... Okay, then. You know, I'm half tempted to recruit you just to make you fight. But I'm not that evil. Not yet. Hey, best boy, how you doing? His Highness calls for the head of Edelgard. For me, that is cause enough to fight. That is against the teachings of the Goddess. You're truly all right with that? The hatred of His Highness is also my hatred. Oh! Any other feelings I may have are irrelevant. Oh my god, that face! <laughs> and if Edelgard was responsible in any way for the tragedy of Dusker, that is something I cannot ignore. Well, judging from the Flame Emperor's dialogue that I saw, apparently she was blaming Kronia and that other guy for the tragedy of Dusker. So that kind of leads me to believe that she may not have played a part in the actual tragedy, but she is still associating with the people that did. If that is the case, then she is my enemy. That is fair. She has a lot of explaining to do. A painfully large amount of explaining to do. Hey, Petra. How are you, how are you holding up? I am owing big debts to Duke Geert of the Empire. He is the Minister of Affairs that are foreign. He is a friend of Edelgard. He is to her side. What should I be doing? No matter your decision, Petra, it's your choice. Whether you be an ally or an enemy, this kind of goes with pretty much any of the students that were associated with the Black Eagle House. I mean, it's their choice to make. Uh. Don't freaking, uh, me. Hmm. Hey, doggy. There's a lot of people in here. Good thing they still have tournament organizations, apparently. have a problem jumping into a fight but it feels strange going up against my father 
Hmm. We aren't especially close, but he's not an opponent I'd want to face. I'd almost rather fight a monster. I hope he's not part of the group coming to attack Garrett Mach. That would be very painful if it turned out okay. that he was. I thought we'd all be really busy with assignments and getting ready for graduation. But now, now that things have turned out like this, I guess there's nothing to do but fight. I know, right? And here I was hoping to have a pizza party graduation. What the hell? Ugh. If I could go back to last month and throttle my carefree self. Now it turns out Edelgard is the Flame Emperor and the new Adrestian Emperor. And she's striking out against the monastery with the full force of the Imperial Army behind her. We gotta beat her at her own game. For our sake as well as Lady Rhea's. Agreed. Very much agreed. Ignoring you. You saw it too, didn't you? The boar's true nature. Yeah. Yeah, I did. He's hidden his desire for revenge pretty well. But now it's stirred up. Well, regardless, that girl's starting an all-out war, isn't she? Looks like it. But an enemy is an enemy, no matter who they are. Don't let compassion for her get in your way. Oh, trust me, it's not gonna get in my way, pal. Don't worry about it. Trust me, it is not gonna stop me. Um, although... I understand that I need to be very careful with my judgments of certain characters, so I am. After all, I did say that I intend to do all of the other houses, so... Until further notice, I'm still gonna be very mad at her. Hey, buddy. Uh, actually, I wanna level up my heavy armor, or my heavy armor stuff before I try to recruit him. The most important nobles in the Empire are known for taking power from the previous Emperor, my father included. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. Because I'm going to try one more attempt to try to get him into my party. However, it seems that both my father and Caspars are supporting Edelgard. Hmm. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. It would seem so. You want to join me? Your class seems pretty... relaxed. My professor is so strict. So is the house leader. What do you say? I believe I'd enjoy being a member of your class. Yes! Wonderful. I look forward to watching you close up. That is to say, observing your teaching style. By the way, I'll need some time for naps. Two hours of class time should be sufficient. Fair enough, fair enough. I don't, I, I'm gonna make you fight your father. Wait a minute, what are you going to do? I'm gonna make you fight your dad. Oh, I seem to have made a bit of a mistake doing this house. Yes, you did. Well, too late now. All right, so I need to get Linhart. Okay, I got Linhart and I need to get Raphael into the party. Okay, there is a couple people down over here in the... Ermid Gorby and inside the bucket. But there's a couple people over here that I need to talk to that are in the garden house. Oh, wow. oh. Oh, there's Bernadetta. I've known his highness since I was a child, but I've never seen that side of him before. Kind of scary, wasn't it? He seemed like a completely different person than the one I know. Dangerous boy. He seems oh wait, I don't want No, no. I've already talked to you. I want to get my plants. They are kind of important. <sighs> and... Yep, I'm gonna plant a lot of weird stuff. And I'm gonna use the Caledonian soil. Don't judge me. Hey, how are you holding up? What does war with Edelgard mean for us, Professor? And why does she even want that? I don't know. She seems to think force is the only way. To be fair, I really don't know her actual motives. Yeah, I guess we'd have to ask her. We'd have to hear it from her. That's how it always goes, I guess. You never realize something can't be undone until you've done it. And again, that makes me wonder how the Black Eagle House run will be. Wait a minute, if she's... Okay, 
I'm gonna go at this with the assumption that no matter what, she's going to declare war on the church, no matter which route that is picked. At least, that's kind of what I've got going on in my head right now. And if that's the case, that kind of puts me in the mind that if she does, and I just so happen to be the professor of her house, something tells me that because I've got the sword of the creator, she might try to recruit me. Because, I mean, having a progenitor god on your side would certainly turn the tide in your favor. Which, if that turned out to be the case, that would mean I would have to fight against students at the church. I don't like that. It's my job to protect Lady Rhea. I know, butler boy. I've got to do it, and i got to do it as best I can. And if that means i got to die for her, then I will. No. Uh, how could Edelgard treat Lady Rhea like she's the bad guy? She's never been anything but nice to everybody. I just don't get it at all. It's... <sighs> we don't know the entire story yet. <laughs> So, admittedly, I did get very heated. I did get very emotional in the way I was speaking, which I'm pretty sure might have upset a few people. Professor. Yes, hello. I gotta go to that church now to talk to people. How dare they threaten the goddess? Such a vile act cannot be forgiven. There is no need to worry, I promise you that. Divine punishment will surely fall upon them. Well, yes, I am the god. Yore, the goddess would grow angry with such insolent fools and roast them in ALL. Is... Is... Is that this game's version of hell? No, wait. Hmm. No, I... Okay, that message box already tells me how you're holding up. I'll have that girl's head. Just you wait. Dimitri? Okay. Kind of glad I got you out of that house. Uh, how are you doing? Can we really defeat someone who is willing to turn their back on the world just to uphold their own beliefs? I've spent my whole life running in fear, and now I... We can win this together. Surely we can win if we rely on each other. Right, Professor? Wait, does... Hmm. Oh, Flane. Professor, war is breaking out again, is it not? Looks like it. Again? Are you referring to, like, the war that happened a long time ago? There was a truly terrible war once upon a time. I never wanted another war. All we can do is steal ourselves for the fight ahead. Hmm. No. Oh! Mercedes. I guess we have no choice but to fight, have we? Oh, but why would Edelgard do something like this? I'm sure we'll be alright though, Professor. The Goddess will keep us safe. I don't know. I, I really don't know. According to this, it looks like there's a quest from Sedith up here. Hmm. I think once I get my last bit of heavy armor training from some people here, I should be ready to go. Excuse me. How are you, Professor? Any new changes to report? With the Imperial Army drawing near, it is most vexing that we cannot relax and converse as we once did. As long as it's not in your bedroom, that was very awkward. Thankfully. You have the divine protection of the goddess on your side. Please try to listen carefully for her voice. Well, you see, here's the thing. I kind of fuse with her, and now she ain't talking to me anymore. I will try. I can't hear a thing. May the goddess's voice reach you. I mean, like I said, she Hi. kind of was at one point, but now I can't talk to her. For some damn reason! All right, just give me more reason experience, and... Hmm, Sedith is not in his room this time. Oh, they're all out here. Hmm. Well... Hello. Oh! Hey. 
We must protect Garrick Mark. Obviously. Defiling the holy tomb was a sacrilege. I will not allow such a thing to happen again. The Archbishop has already given you a new responsibility. I want you to rise to that honor. Gladly. I have something to ask of you. We've been scouting the makeup of the Imperial Army, but much is still unclear. Any information you could provide would be a great help. Collect information on the Imperial Army. A Knight of Seros would have that kind of information. Got it. Sure thing, buddy. Oh! 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 I can get A in authority. But, um, one thing I did not notice, I, I feel really dumb, but I got set up in the party, so what I did was I kind of did some item splurging on him. He doesn't have a rank A in spear yet, so he can't use the spear of Assal. But, I did give him a silver pl a lance plus and a hand axe plus, so hopefully we can get his spear of mastery up so we can use the spear of Assal. Oh my god. So, yeah, that's great. Now, hey. Huh? To think Edelgard was somehow connected to the captain's murderer. I know. Well, perhaps it's pointless to get upset about the past. My duty now is to prepare for battle. All right. We're depending on your strength, Professor. Crush our enemies. Damn right. I'll try. I'm depending captain, on you. I hope you're watching. We will protect Garrick Mark. I can count on you, my but my best buddy. Thank you for the training. I highly appreciate that. That's pretty much what I am using my free time for the moment right now. The holy tomb held many crest stones. Yeah. And I protected them. This is the first time I've heard of crest stones being hidden away in such a place. Why were they hidden back there? But more importantly, I'm interested to know the Empire's aim. Why would their army desire crest stones? There is power there, yes. And yet, I must think on this. The crest stones lie at the heart of the events surrounding Conan Tower and the chapel as well. And of course, the Crest Stones somehow transform those traitors and their captives into demonic beasts. Were they trying to build like a demonic army or... Hmm. Could that possibly be their aim? The Empire's army may well plan to use Crest Stones to create demonic beasts. That's literally what I was thinking. Glad that we're kind of on the same page. Good. I mean, it's still kind of messed up, but I'm good. That it's good that we're on the same page at least. Well. Oh, you're fine, woman. Hey, Manuela. Right. The mastermind behind the attacks on the monastery was Edelgard. Wow. Doesn't make much sense, though, does it? There would need to be all sorts of territories and groups tangled up in this sort of mess. <sighs> I'm gonna stop. I don't really have the head for this political stuff. You and me too, girl. Mostly, I'm worried about my old opera company. I wonder what's happening in the capital right now. I hope they're safe. Well, I'm sure they're. I'm. I'm sure they'll be fine. Hopefully. Hmm. I don't know yet. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it'd be awkward to suddenly just eat, like, just have like a nice little meal with my students at this point, wouldn't it? All right, uh, who's in here? <gasps> Lysithia. So Edelgard, the one who calls herself the Flame Emperor, was connected to those strange beings. Mm-hmm. The Imperial Army might be using even more terrifying methods than we know. Yep. You had better be cautious, Professor. Any amount of carelessness might prove to be our undoing. Yep. I do not doubt that one bit. Not one bit whatsoever. Okay. The gatekeeper! He would have information, possibly. Okay. Really? Oh, never mind. I thought, it, okay, I guess it's somebody else. I thought it would be a gate boy. Hi. I cannot believe our negligence allowed the Empire to invade. 
Edelgard probably gathered her soldiers in Garrig Mach, intending to do this from the start. Soldiers disguised as merchants and pilgrims to avoid suspicion, infiltrating the entire area little by little. They couldn't be better prepared. We'll have a tough time winning this one, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Imperial Army Intel. Hmm. Hmm. All right. We'll go ahead and report back to Sedith. This information might... I don't know if it'll change anything, but it might help. Well done. You have my thanks. Interesting. It's true that a lot more people have been coming and going as of late. Hmm. Perhaps we could secure new information if we capture someone from the Imperial Army. Thank you. That is quite helpful. Hmm. And I got a steel shield out of it. Alright. Good. Alright. It seems like all I can do now is go to the dining hall. I've gotten all of my training that I've gotten. Okay. Alright. Alright. Let's attempt to recruit Raphael. <laughs> I hear the Alliance's territory will be in danger if we don't get rid of these Empire guys. If the Alliance is in danger, that means my sister's in danger too. There's no way I'm gonna allow that. You this need to join how me. How many guys they throw at us? I'll beat them all. These muscles aren't just for show. But first, I gotta get some food. That. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll give you that. Good to see you, Professor. I was just on my way to train, so... Damn it, damn it. I need to get my heavy armor up a little bit more. Okay, so I have next week. I think. I hear the... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and recruit you for mission assistance. Alright, that means I'll have to talk to you next week then. Fuck. I need some way to get my heavy armor up a little bit. Or at least a little bit more. And that only leaves one possible idea that I've got. It only just now occurred to me, and unfortunately I've already saved, so whatever I was the damage is already done at this point. So I might as well take steps to rectify this. Need something. Okay, which one gives me heavy armor boosts? This one? Worth it. You're all set. Alright. See you again soon. Okay, that'll speed up my heavy armor for next week. I think I'm going to go ahead and swap out Life Taker. That'll be a very good skill to have. And swap it out with my Faith Level 3. Because right now, I've already got White Magic Avoidance plus 20, which is... It's already pretty darn good. So... And I'll keep Poison Strike as well. I think it'll be very, very... Effective. And whenever I kill enemies, I'll be able to restore my health quite effectively. This is a good ability to have. At least that's what I think. Oh, uh, speaking of knowledge gems, I'm still, I was still debating about who I wanted to give this to. So, I think the person who's probably going to be... Actually, I, I just got Linhart, so... Oh, cool, he's a priest. I think I'll go ahead and give this to... This is my favorite. I am rather happy you went out of your way to pick it, Professor. Oh. I did not expect much from the dining hall, but this does not disappoint. Hmm. That's good. Glad you guys enjoyed it. All right, uh, today's special. I will go ahead and get the Daphnel stew and invite to do and... Can I get... Hmm. You know what's funny? Ferdinand and Leone have very... I don't, I don't know. They kind of... Hmm. Ah, no, fuck it. Let's get... Let's get... Let's get the big muscle boys in here. I like this. This is delicious! My absolute favorite! Good to know. Good to know. All right, and for cooking, we'll get Gilbert in again. Uh, crap, I don't have the fish for the speed buff. So let's go with luck this time. Let, let's change it up a little bit. Let's go with some luck. 
I have some experience with cooking. I am sure I can aid you in the kitchen. Let me consider. But of course. How the meal tastes affects the morale of the troops. An army marches on its stomach. Very, very true. Okay, temporary plus two to luck should be good. All right. I got one more free time event before we head off into whatever the hell's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, let's go with a uh, set of an ink. Oh my goodness! That's a hell of a. That's pretty great, actually. All right, uh, let's go ahead and change Sedith's motivation. Let's get him with a pure lance focus. We're gonna try to get that up as fast as possible. I'd say everybody else is already okay. Ooh, good. She's gonna get an A rank. Nice. Uh. Ooh, she's gonna get A plus. Yes. Actually, he's gonna get an A plus too. And he's gonna get a B plus in heavy armor. Not bad at all. All right, everybody's focus is pretty good at the moment. So let's begin instructing. All right, uh, oh. Oh, I thought for a second, like, he just, he was not even just, he was not there for like a minute, I'm sorry. All right, um, nah. Ingrid, we need to get your authority up a bit. I appreciate your guidance. That was challenging. That was challenging. All right. I kind of want to get hers up a bit so that way she can actually use the uh, flying based battalions. Okay, Linhart, you're already pretty good at the moment. Uh, I'm kind of worried about Dimitri's mental state, so let's try to train him a little bit. Try, maybe not a good idea. Oh my goodness. All right, you know what? Let's get that lance up. That was helpful. Good to know. Good to know. All right, Flane. Um, actually, Flane, you're already you're already pretty good right now. I kind of want to see what Linhart's uh, dialogue will be if I train him a little bit. Oh, let's boost up his authority then. Hello, I was right. Yes, good job. How embarrassing. I'm not... I did not mean to do that. Plug it. It is a long road to mastery. Hello? I was right? Ah, <sighs> good. How long will this take? I don't know. Enough for me to accidentally skip your dialogue because I'm terrible at what I do? Probably? Alright, I'm gonna boost your flying. <clears throat> just who knows I might be able to make you like a wyvern rider or I guess I could make you a sniper I don't know you've already got an A in bow so fuck it we're boosting your authority oh, that's a relief <laughs> get everybody up you're making me blush I'm making the cinnamon roll blush oh, that's a relief this Come on. Almost the Oh, how dare you deny me of this. Okay, Mercedes is pretty good. Everybody's already got, like, some skill that's kind of close to A rank, which is actually pretty good. Um... Hmm. Let's boost up your... We you have bow mastery. I mean, I'm not judging, but... Why? Did I accidentally train you in something that I wasn't paying attention? Eh, nah, we're fine. Let's do this uh, again sometime, Professor. Uh, uh, I see you, Ardith. I see you playing Pokemon Shield. Let's do the this Ardith cameo sometime. has appeared. Of course I was right. Good job. What now? Do I get a reward? Another lesson is your reward. All right, last one. We're gonna go ahead and boost up your faith. Just as I've always expected. 
years. No matter how old one gets, it's always nice to hear, job well done. The more healers I have, the better. That was rather productive. Oh, another perfect! Just as I've always expected. Son of a gun! Just as I've always expected. Nice job! You got a lot of them there. Alright. Uh, Professor, I've something I'd like to ask you. When I ask them to take part to my experiments, even the most industrious students run away from me. No matter how sincerely I plead. Uh, do you have any suggestions? The word experiment may be scaring them. Make the experiment a job and pay them handsomely. They would not run from a great teacher. Make the experiment a job and pay them handsomely? Hmm. They would not run from a great teacher. That doesn't make me feel better. Nope, I did terrible there. I should have told them to make the job a... Make it the thing a job. Focus on reason skill to excel as a warlock. You know what? The bow's just not doing it for you, so yeah, let's do that. All right, students. Now as we prepare for war. Oh, Gilbert would like to speak with me. Hmm. I am sorry to make you tag along with my shopping trip like this. Ah, do, oh, think nothing of it, Gilbert. You are very kind to offer your help, even though this is my duty. Don't worry about it. I'm happy to help. In return, I will gladly come to your aid when you need it someday. Will you join my party now? No, I'm afraid not. God damn it! Though I fear there may not be so many things I can help you with. Could you teach me to fish? Could you help me with my combat training? Can you teach me to fish? Fishing? Of course, I would be happy to. I recall hearing that Captain Gerald was quite the fisherman. Is that true? I think so. You made a living as a mercenary under Captain Gerald's guidance. Mm. As a comparatively new member of the Knights of Seros, I was not so familiar with his past exploits. Yet, clashing swords with him, even just a handful of times, was enough for his abilities to astound me. You, as one trained by him, must have those same great talents. Hmm. I have devoted my life to the path of a knight, yet I find your mercenary experience lends your blade... Hmm? What is it? <laughs> Wait up! Catch me if you can! Come on, this way! This way! Hmm? <laughs> it is good to see children able to play and to smile. Hmm. Yeah. It's rare to see that look on your face. I never knew you could smile, Gilbert. <laughs> Was I smiling? Uh, yeah. Yes, you were. Please, forget you saw that. I do not have the right to such pleasures. The right? Indeed. But those we have lost will never be able to smile again. Does this have to do with your daughter, Annette? I never said I had a daughter named Annette. Yeah, you do. I am sorry. I did not mean to trouble you with such talk. Come, let us head back. Hmm. I wonder... Maybe now that I've started a support conversation with him, maybe I can get him to join me now? Oh! Uh, you're curious to see how Ingrid is doing. Sure. Ugh. Will father never learn? All of these useless letters are only creating more rubbish in the world. Oh, marriage Oh, marriage letters? Professor? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. My apologies. Howdy! Was that a letter you were disposing of? You better not be littering. Oh, uh, that paper. Well, I... Yes. Yes, it was. It was a letter from my father. Let me guess. Marriage or proposal? Yeah. It's kind of hard. It's pretty easy to tell at this point, isn't it? Yep. Are you sure you wanted to throw it away? Isn't that important to you? I understand where you're coming from here, but I have no need of such things. Hmm. It isn't like anything of importance was written on it. Curious? 
I suppose there's no harm in allowing you to read it. Go on then. All right. Let's My see. My dearest daughter, Ingrid. Ooh, he has a voice. Are you well? I trust that you are behaving yourself and refraining from causing trouble for others. Things on the home front are in order. A marriage proposal for you and the Viscount's son should be prepared soon. Viscount? Is that how it's pronounced? I've always pronounced it Viscount. Although, I am quite certain there are many superior candidates at Garrig Mock Monastery. As you know, the very survival of our family is dependent upon whom you marry. Putting a lot on our shoulders there, pal. You are the only one left in the family who can make things right. We are all counting on you. Do not lose sight of what truly matters. This is... a letter about marriage prospects. Yes. Perhaps you found it somewhat entertaining. Well, it initially came off as war as, you know, sincere, but then it got to, you know... I've told you that we've never been very well off financially. Mm-hmm. My noble family, House Galatea, branched off from House Daphnel in the Alliance. Shortly after, we were lucky enough to receive the support of the royal family, allowing us to attain nobility, to some extent. But, the territory we watch over is poor. It's harvest meager. And our noble blood, too, has grown thin. Neither my father nor my brothers bear a crest. I, however, do bear a crest. Because of this, my father sees me as our family's one hope for the future. Hmm. A crest is highly prized among nobles. Were I to marry into a greater noble family, that financial support could soothe our woes. I can't believe he would use you like that. What an awful way for him to treat you. Thank you, Professor. Your sentiment alone is a great comfort to me. <sighs> Despite my own feelings, I understand his approach to all this. It isn't that he doesn't care for me. I understand it very, very well. Which is why I... I apologize, Professor. I must be going. <sighs> I, I really feel... That was depressing, but at least her motivation got maxed out. Great. It's Shamir's birthday. Thank you. There you go. Shame I can't support with you anymore. Lend me your power. Also, nice armor there, dude. Indeed. This should be easy. We did well enough. Nice. I'm certain I've improved. It's starting to make sense. Ooh, you learned aura. I'm getting it. Oh, bow, bow prowess level five. Bow prowess, I'm an idiot. Okay. Ah, the music changed again. Battle at the border, route the bandits in Fodlin's throat. Rare enemies approaching, suggest level 27. Hmm. I'm... Hmm. Interesting, people would want to have a seminar instead. No. We're going to go ahead and explore a little bit more. And my goal is... Actually, you know what? Let's see if I can get Gilbert in the party. Oh, I didn't now that I've actually supported with him. Nope, nothing's changed. I know, I, I'm pissed off too, I know. There we go. D plus. The glory of progress. Good. Alright. Please join me. I think I need a I, I, the sad part is I think I need a C plus, so please join me now. See you, Professor. Rare for you to come talk to me. I'd love it if you could teach me more about training and stuff yes! like that. Yes! I know that ain't easy with me stuck in a different class and all. Why don't you put me in your class? Luck has really? blessed me! I was only kidding around. But if you're offering, I won't say no. You better not go easy on me. You gotta toughen me up if I'm gonna become a proper knight. Thank you! Yay! I got him! No! 
That was worth it. All right. It's time. Listen up, everyone. The Imperial Army is upon us. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the Goddess's protection on our side. We have nothing to fear. Victory Glad that I'm standing be side by ours. side with you. I'm happy that I'm standing side by side with you, Aloise. Professor, are you ready? Yeah. Almost. Well, hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. Ah, I'm sure we'll be fine. I can stop time. What was that? Nothing. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. Do not underestimate how extraordinary her abilities are. They're Got here. it. At long last. It seems this will be a battle to remember. About time. I'll never give up. No matter how outnumbered we are, I'll fight to the very end. All right. Hmm. I should have made a move on the Imperial Princess before things got this far. It could have changed everything. <laughs> we have the Goddess's divine protection on our side. All that's left is to try our best. Now the real question is, am I going to be allowed to use all my units? I'm, pr I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be allowed to. All we can do is fight as best we can. Though, if I'm being honest, I'm really scared right now. I know, Annette. I know. We can't just hand over the kingdom in the monastery. We'll stop her, no matter what it takes. Your Highness, you do not seem... well. <laughs> Unwell, you say? What's gotten into you? Nothing could be farther from the truth. I'm so happy I can hardly contain myself. Dimitri, do you want me to set you as an adjutant so you can stop the bloodlust? Because that's probably what I'm going to have to do to you. My father, my stepmother, my dear friends. They want her head. They want her life. They've whispered as much to me. Okay, we need to get you some help, dude. And the chance to answer their pleas has arrived at long last. Don't lose control out there. Don't act rashly. We're in this together. <laughs> of course, of course. But don't mistake my intentions. Edelgard will die by my hand and mine alone. Let's move, Professor. Even if it costs me my life, I won't rest until I've crushed her skull in my bare hands. <laughs> okay, fine. If you're going to be a little psychotic, I might as well. Although I probably should not do that around my students. You want to have a psych off? We can have a little bit of fun! Oh well. All right. One last thing I gotta do. Gotta check out Raphael's stuff here. Rocky Burdick. Permanently increases strength by one. Oh, we're storing that. We're storing this too. We're gonna give you some... Hmm. Yeah. Oh wait, whoops. Yeah, we'll give you the training gauntlets plus. They're a little bit better. And just in case, we'll give you some iron gauntlets too. They are slightly stronger, so they're just a little bit heavier, that's all. All right, uh, everybody is doing pretty good. Again, I'm not entirely sure how many I'm gonna be allowed to use, but you never know. All right, class-wise, I think everybody is pretty good. I might, I'm gonna go and give that strength up to Ingrid while I'm at it, just to be safe. All right, got him as a brawler. Okay. Because trust me, Ingrid needs the freaking strength up. Let's be fair. Uh. Use it. She needs the strength, goddammit. And I think I swapped out her. I think an Iron Lance Plus will be a little bit better than the Training Lance Plus. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That's also why I gave her such a random, a good range. 
Then again, again, I'm not entirely sure what I'll be allowed, what units I'll be allowed to use. All right. All right, since I got the Life Taker ability, I might turn myself back into that other class that was in here. Or I just might try to get more magic. <sighs> hmm. Black Tone Fair, Black Magic uses times two. Hmm. Shame I don't have any Black Magic. That's a shame. All right. <sighs> Let's do this. The Battle of Garrick Mach. The Imperial Army led by Edelgard advances on Garrick Mach. As everyone struggles to process this turn of events, the grim reality of war fast approaches. Alright. Let's do this. Bishop, Warlock, Brigand, Paladin, Warrior, Sniper, Swordmaster, Wyvern Rider. Well, well, at least the religion of the Bishop is a good class. Uh, I might reclass myself eventually just so I can see what other skills I can learn from said classes. Just, you know, anything that's magic-oriented would be of great benefit to me regardless. However, having Heartseeker is a very good ability to have, as well as Life Taker. Although I wonder if that... No, I'm not sure if that'll trigger when I need it to, but... All right. The Battle of Garrig Mach. White Clouds, Chapter 12. To War. Oh! Sword of Seros. Huh. Oh my god! For, to, remember, she has a lot she has a lot of stuff! Oh yeah, she's pretty strong, and she's actually got some tanky units with her too. Nice. Oh my goodness. I've actually got a lot of people. I, Oh my. Okay. What what ability do you have here? Renewal. Oh, of course. Of course you've got renewal. Looks like I'm going to have to start protecting some of these guys. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, of course there's a Death Knight out here. Hey, buddy. And you got another Dark Seal. Great. Oh, and your stats are... Huh. Your stats are kind of relatively the same. <gasps> this is my next chance to get a Crescent Sickle. Yes. Okay, uh... This might be my only other opportunity to actually get one. There you are, Hubert. Wow, this is... How big is this map? Oh my. Look at her. Adrestian Empire Flame Emperor. Who has been revealed as Edelgard. It remains unclear why she has chosen such a title. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Does she have two crests? How do you have two? Wait, minor crest of Saros. They say St. Saros born this... Minor crust and pass it down through House Resvel. Sometimes reason in that. What? How do you have two? How? Wait, who the hell are you? Ladislava. 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 Who the heck is you? Me seeing people that I've never recognized before. Randolph. Another person I don't recognize. Are there more people around here that I do not recognize at all? No, but there's good boy Death Knight. I wonder if I'll be able to have myself a bit of a round two with him. Naturally, there's Hubert. Ooh, this music that's playing right now. Okay. No, it looks like I'm still only allowed a certain number of units. That's fine. Okay, I have her equipped to me. That's... That's okay. I think I should probably give Mercedes a, uh, adjutant. I think she would benefit having, you know, 
Maybe Manuela as her adjutant for right now. Although the experience gem would probably not help her at all at this in this. Wait a minute, no. We need Manuela and Mercedes. And I kind of I, I think I should probably have all the teachers at this point. That way they can have like their own interactions at some point. Oh my god. This is the worst part, trying to plan properly. Ugh. Alright, um. Hmm. Alright, we'll give you an adjutant. Uh. Sedith. Yeah. I think Sedith would be a good one. Okay. Let's go. All right. Report. The enemy is within the walls. They're about to break the defensive line. <laughs> the Archbishop and the defensive line both require our assistance. We must protect them until reinforcements get here. Got it. This music that's playing. I'm loving it. Let's take them out. Right. Okay. Ready. Okay. That damage is so goddamn ridiculous. Are you gonna have any dialogue? I'll cut through. Nope. Still the same dialogue. I was afraid that he was gonna have like a bit of a I'll slaughter them or something like that. Alright. Okay. That was tough. the hell is this thing going on over here? Can only be used- Oh, it's a fire orb! Okay, okay. All what right. should I do? Wait. My turn? Let's get you some experience, buddy. That's not good enough, unfortunately. You're in my sight! Five percent chance! I read you like a book. Nice. Reassuring. Alright. I think to make this a little bit easier on myself, I'm going to mark the extremely dangerous enemies. For right now. Alright. Damn. It's not gonna be enough. Alright. I'm on it. Uh, of course he has Ready trouble going down the stairs. Alright, uh. Swap you with a hand axe. I'll crush them all. Keep all the teachers together. Okay. All right. Okay. okay how much damage are you gonna do to him? That's a lot of damage. Nope, that's not what I wanted you to do. Can't have him change his magic, unfortunately. All right. I'm gonna change things up a little bit here. Okay. Good job to do. Sufficient. Get that level up. That's okay. I will handle whatever comes. Okay, that's okay. It's a fair level up. All right. Equip Nosferatu and rally boosts, which really makes no sense to I'm boosting his magic because why the hell not? All right. I'm on it. All right. You go and keep that short spear equipped. I'll crush them all. This music is so intense, though. All right, everybody's good on that side. All right. I'll cut through. I'll have Dimitri head in that direction. Stay focused. As for myself, I will continue to move forward. Ah! 
There we go. Each battle a chance to grow. If I needed an opportunity to use my Levin sword, I've got it. Here we go. Okay. How fucking far is your range? Okay. Okay. Oh my god, whatever's about to attack her has such ridiculous range, it's not even funny. Okay. Let's take them out. All right. Uh, go ahead and have Nosferatu equipped. Ready. No, that's still in attack range. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ow. At least they can restore some health so the damage is mitigated at least a little bit. Okay. No! Dodge. I must fall. Skipping. 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 I am not. I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. Don't care. We are going back. We are going back. I absolutely 100% refuse to let my freaking Hanuman die. No. 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 My turn. Hanuman, you're moving back over here for right now. Here we go. Stay focused. I am not losing characters, goddammit. You fought well. I refuse to lose anyone. I'll cut through. <sighs> okay. Ready. God damn it. Let's take them out. I'm on it. Ready and able. I'm not losing anyone. I'll crush them all. She can take the hit. Okay, so my target is I need to get rid of that ballista. Or just ballistas in general. Uh-oh. Ow! Ooh, okay! Oh yeah, these guys are gonna be fun. They got three health bars. Which already complicates things. Okay, good. Okay. And a battalion leveled up too. Okay. Okay, that guy, that Saros Knight is dead. That's a minor problem. Major problem, actually. Okay, very good. Yes, use your gambits to your advantage. Good. Let's do this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I agree. This is severe disadvantage here. How did you miss a stunned enemy? Report. The enemy has taken the entrances where the reinforcements were heading. We must retake the strongholds to the east and west so our reinforcements can get through. Got it. You. You're in my way. Each battle, a chance to grow. <sighs> okay. 
that death knight. Okay. Okay. It's our chance to prevail. Go! Okay. That's one health bar down. Still a lot of health to go through, though. Okay. It's a real shame that our healing does not reach that far. Okay. What would be a good weapon? Again, it's always the Lewin Lance. Okay, burning quake it is. Try this on for time. And it's a critical two? Damn! I did what I had to. Good. <sighs> My technique could use some polish. Well, at least she finally got her strength up. That's one of the things that I wanted so much. Thank you. Took you freaking long enough. I'll give it my all. All right. So there's the range of that one. All right, I'll turn that off. Okay, so now I know the range of the ballista. Good. I'm in the range what should too. I do? Apparently. Hey. Kind of being a bit of a bitch, aren't you? That's okay. I don't have to slaughter you. The threat eliminated. That's one guy down. All right. You get your hands on the sickle. I know where I stand. Good. There we go. Now. Finally, I got that one thing that I always wanted to try out. I can't give up yet. All right. How did you miss? From the grave. Revenge for missing. <laughs> okay. Good. Much better. Much better start. Just let me at him. Damn good level up, actually. All right. Okay, uh, Nightmare. Okay. Well, it's better than wasting four. That's okay. You just needed to use one. Just give up. All right, good. Uh. Whoops. Oh, well. Oh well. Invigorating. Yeah. All right. The area has been considerably liberated. No, not the hammer, goddammit, not the hammer. Okay. Wait. Why can't I? Oh. Right. Okay. Uh, curve shot. Get rid of the Pegasus the Rider. Continues. Oh, good. And mastered skills for the brigand. My lessons good. Are complete. Good. Learn death blow. That's uh. Okay. Is anybody gonna attack Hanuman out of curiosity, just making sure here? Okay, that's not gonna be that much damage. The only problem is I got him equipped with wind. So fuck. Okay. Um. All right. Uh. Who needs a good physic? Good. Heal my allies as much as possible. All right. Uh. No. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll put you over here. Okay. Um. Okay. 
All right, Dimitri will be able to fight back, thankfully, so he should be able, he, he should be fine there. All right, um, all right, we'll get these guys moving. Go. Good. I had no other option. Oh, really? One exp left. I'll crush them all. Don't freaking tease me like that. Ooh, that guy might come in range. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Come on. We can do this. Oh, good dodge, Hanuman. Good dodge, me. Ow. Ow. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. You better dodge it. Hey, good job. Ooh, that's some good damage, Church Soldier. Good job! Alright, good. Keep trying to break your guards. Okay. Good. Although you attracted your attention now. Hey! Good job! Okay, okay. Alright, this will get him some bonus damage. Okay, um... Retribution might come in. Okay. Good shot. Okay, um... That guy is relatively not in range. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm just double checking to make sure because I don't want to lose Ingrid. You get that experience. Defenseless, are we? Good job. <sighs> All right, that's one bar down. Okay. That's another bar down. And a level up obtained as well. I will get stronger yet. Yeah. I believe you on that. I really do. Ironically, he's still gonna attack that one. Okay. Keep all my magic users relatively close to each other. Okay, um. Heal Ash. You're a big help. For right now. All right. Hello there. Come to speak with the Lord, your Savior. Not too bad, you're dead. You fought well. <sighs> okay. Uh oh. He's gonna be coming for me, ain't he? Oh, goody, that's gonna be fun. Actually, how much damage would I... Oh, I wouldn't be able to get near it. That's a problem. That's okay, though. That's okay. Um, let's go. Predictable. Missed me! Thankfully, these guys do not do that much damage. The only problem is that they hit multiple times. Okay, good. We got an ally phase. You're gonna get yourself killed, just telling you. 
Congratulations, you got yourself murdered. Murderized. Well, the important thing is that you guys are trying. Oh my god! Good job! Alright. No. Hello there, Death Knight. I have to say, it's actually been quite some time since the last we battled. Although this time, I'll ensure that you die quite painfully. Hmm. I can always rewind the time, so let's see how this goes. This battlefield is too chaotic for us to kill each other upon. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Time is not right. I will wait for the next opportunity. Bye, Yuritsa. Thank you for the dark seal. Thank you for the heal. One stronghold secured. Yep. Woo! <laughs> yes! Now our allies can come pouring in! Yes! Good job, Eloise! Still room to improve. You're doing Gerald proud. Alright. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good. Except for that. That still might be a bit of a problem. Okay. Fuck it. I'm going all out! That one is expected. Look at you. Yeah. All right. Good. We're getting in more allies. No, I just need to take care of Hubert. The traitorous bastard. Though still I don't know what their motives are. Actually, I got a good idea here. I got a pretty good idea. I have an idea. I got an idea. Retribution, so everybody can do counterattacks. All right. Hello there. How are you, good sir? Can't die. You never had a chance. Damn right. All right. Ready. Wait. Are there people attacking her? No. Okay. I had a bit of a minor heart attack there. All right. My thanks. All right. It's one HP, but that one HP can always make the difference. You know. What should I do? You will move into place and defend yourself. Okay, okay, um... I'll crush them all. Here we go. Let's take them out. All right, come on. Too slow. Missed. Zero damage. <laughs> Missed me. Oh, that on the other hand might hurt a little bit. Good counterattack, though. Your power means nothing to the juggernaut of the do. Also, his armor is now up to B plus. My understanding. Poor bastard, you can't do much of anything against him, can you? I did not give you permission to heal! Apologies. How dare you? Oh, he's moving forward. I wonder who this guy is. I'm guessing he must be maybe related to Edelgard? 
I'm assuming. Hmm. I won't know until I... Oh my god, that damage that he can do, though. That might be a bit of a problem. Let's, uh, lure them. That might be a good strategy, I would think. Alright, combat arts. Let's go ahead and use this. Okay. Just one shield down. Hello there, Hubert. Care to die. Oh my god, the damage you do is a bit kind of ridiculous, don't you think? And we're fine. We're fine. This, on the other hand, might hurt a little bit. If it actually would hit, though. It's interesting how he must have, like. Why does he have increased. Huh. Hmm. Oh well. There we go. Lance is now A plus. Each new experience is an asset. Okay, that's one bar down. That's two left to go. Okay, he's he's not gonna do much of anything. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Ready and able. Get this. Alright, cover gamma use. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving him down. He's got an elixir, Stay which should focused. be very helpful. Alright. Okay, I need it to. Keeping those Ferratu equipped. Alright, come on. Who is that guy? No. Hmm. Again, he can't do any damage, so why bother even attempting to attack? <gasps> Ow! And I just lost my battalion. That's a problem, that's a problem, that's a problem. Oh. Okay, that kind of hurt a little bit. That's okay, I'm fine. I can deal with it. Hey, would you care to heal me? Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Sorry. I did not give you permission to do that. Damn! Go, my God! Girl, be badass! Damn, girl, you're great. Okay. Uh. Okay. Obviously, I want to get rid of this guy. Fuck it. Let's use a speed carrot. Boost my speed, damn it. Alright, uh, temporarily sit there for right now. Heal yourself. Alright, you. Get rid of this archer. There. Okay. Just give up. Alright. Okay. Holy shit! This is pretty great, though. Okay, we need to use Monster Piercer again. 
Shame that Killer Lance actually has no critical boost this time. Okay, he still has the counterattack no matter what. Go. Ow. That hurt a little bit. That's better! That's another bar down. Stay in place because this is dangerous here. I can't move him down here because I think the archer would cause an issue. All right. Uh. Damn, our physic can't reach far enough. Go! I won't hold back. Good. Okay, um. This guy's the problem. Alright, uh. Just heal him. My thanks. Okay. Okay, okay. Um. And turn. I have no choice but to distinguish myself in this fight. Who are you? You hit hard. Hmm. The do say was mercenaries of Drew. Okay, I'm losing allies of, like, nobody's business! Thank you for dodging, Ash. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. No! No, I don't care about the level up. I do not care about the level up. I do not care. I have to... No, 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 no! All right. I'll give it my Back up. Yeah, I should be fine. You're gonna die, girl. My life was changed forever by Her Majesty. Now, I lay it on the line. For the Empire! Well, you sacrificed your this life for the wrong... Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> I'll give you that. You did a good job actually dodging that. However... You're still going to lose. That is an unfortunate truth. One which you will never be able to succeed Actually, I really have nothing. I have nothing cool to say about any of this. Everybody is dying, and I legitimately feel. Oh my god! Okay, that damage is a little bit extreme, don't you think? Okay. This should help. That attack range is a little ridiculous, don't you think? That's probably gonna hurt a lot. Okay. Let's take the 
them out. Okay. I'm on it. Okay, we need to go ahead and use the Lance of Ruin here. It's so obvious. Okay. Layer loser! Ready and able. Heal the samurai! I'll remember that. Also get a level up while you're at it too. It's just not my day. <sighs> it's nobody's day at this point, Mercedes. There's a war going on, nobody is happy, everybody is dying, and we all feel sad. My god, she's moving. All is fair in the war. Okay. Problem. <gasps> Fuck. Well, I just lost my samurai ally. Watch and learn. And I am surrounded. <sighs> this might pose to be a bit of a problem. As is that attack too while you're at it. Oh, never mind. That only did seven damage. It's all good. It's all good. Oh boy. Ow! Thank you for the help back though. Should I have held back? No, never hold back. Never hold back. Also level up lane. Flame. I feel my strength building. Oh, good, you got a speed up, thank you. Alright. Come at me one at a time. And I shall restore my health each time. Until my Nosferatu wear- ah, my Nosferatu wore out. <laughs> Missed me! I'm grateful. Uh-oh. Sorry. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, okay, Dimitri is fighting an uphill battle, or a downhill battle at this point, um... Okay. Goodbye! Hey! There we go. I'm finished. I'm loath to say it, but I must retreat. <sighs> oh, good, I got a gambit use, even though I can't use my own allies at this point. Okay, uh... Okay, curve shot again. Curve shot with the silver bow would be better. Okay. That's one down. Which is exactly what I needed! Woo! I can always depend on you. Yes. Defend Ash. Defend him with your life. Okay, uh. So now I can no longer absorb health. Cannot be used by mounted or magic units. I can use it though! Holy shit, that is a lot of damage though. <laughs> it's pretty obvious what I have to do here. I have to slaughter you. What you fail to appreciate is that we have at our backs a force you cannot hope to defeat. Yeah. You know what I got? A bloodthirsty king. I can afford to fall back. We still have the advantage. 
both strongholds secured, with time to spare. Good. Now get your ass over here so you can heal yourself. Oh! <laughs> yes. Hello there, goodbye. me. I'm gonna try to kill you this time, just so you know. You lose. Lady Edelgard, I'm so sorry. I can't keep going. I must retreat. Now, heal me. Hm. Okay. Yes. Damn. This is okay. As long as I can get rid of one of the healers, that is okay. I'm willing to pay that price. Okay. That is a lot of damage. My thanks. Every little bit of HP helps. Okay, that guy's gonna deal some very, very heavy damage to do. Thankfully, these archers can take a hit while also dealing some pretty good damage. You know, I was literally getting ready to say the worst thing that could have happened was casting a critical. I failed. Apologies, Your Highness. I could not fulfill my duty. I have six divine pulses left. I'm not letting you, not letting you kill my to do. Kill my to do, you will Stay die yourself. so painfully. I will end your life, you will not be. That's a good spell. Look at spell, though. That is that. What should I do? Half time to kind of leave this to the point where you guys can see the absolute struggle that I put myself through on this. Very tempted to. Did you underestimate me? I think they did underestimate you. I suppose I've improved. <sighs> Here we go. My mistake, on the other hand, was <sighs> just being a big fool. I'm on it. I should have used Ruined Sky, I just realized. Fuck it. And the duels have survived this time. Should have gotten him like an armor piercer or something. Watch and learn. There. This Levin sword has really been coming in handy. As expected. Nice. Oh, and I see Edelgard getting close. Fifty-three damage. One hundred fifty-nine. Okay, that was great. If only the damage actually carried over into the next bar, that would be beautiful. <laughs> oh well. Jeez! You archers are strong! Strong indeed. Useful. There 
go. All right. You will die. Wait, no, you don't. No, you will. Never mind. What should I do? Well, there we go. Can't miss! Lady Edelgard. Don't tear, don't care. Okay. I'm on it. Good job. Uh. Okay, swap out to the short spear. Use your god dang elixir. Stay focused. So how much damage can you do to me, Edelgard? That's some ridiculous damage. I don't take too kindly to that. You fought well. And here's a question, are you still going to be able to hit me? No, you're not. Okay, good. Good. That benefits me greatly. Don't I have a monster piercer? Yeah, I do. This is going to hurt you a lot, actually. Just going to let you know that. Bye! Also, 72% chance of crit. That's not ridiculous at all. All right. Aside from several redos, we did good. Well, until I have to fight Edelgard, we'll have to see how that goes. That's another ally down. Admittedly, I kind of want to see like what Dimitri's dialogue is if he tries to attack Edelgard. Hello, Edelgard. You made a foolhardy mistake attacking my students. I wish you were someone whose heart could be swayed by my words and deeds. <laughs> you see, unfortunately, your actions, the people you associated with, murdered my father. I'm going to enjoy slaughtering you. If it were so, I would have done anything to make you my ally. Hmm. Pitiful. Get out of my sight! Twelve turns. Almost an hour, though. Holy shit. You fought Hooray! Us, but now, your fight is over. Send in our reserve troops, and give my uncle the signal. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, this is a problem. I don't think I can end it there. Shit! Everybody here, young and old, is in your hands. <sighs> no, I will not allow another Red Canyon tragedy to happen here. Oh. 
Uh. <gasps> She's a monogeet! What is going on? Also, Claude and uh, Dimitri working together. <laughs> Y'all bitches made a mistake messing with Raya! Holy shit, I had a dragon on my side this whole time. Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> Oh shit. Okay, that destruction's a bit crazy. Whoa! They're sending in their demonic be- oh! Shit! Raya! Whoa, shit. Okay, this is awesome. Hey. Wow. Why did you come? To assist, obviously. <gasps> Oh, this might be a problem. Oh, God! Oh, shh. Oh, that's a problem! This is a problem! Really bad! Can I rewind time now? Thank you so much. You're welcome, but can we... In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Shit! Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. But amidst the chaos of battle, she vanished, and her whereabouts remain unknown. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fodland has begun. Holy shit! Oh crap, what about my students? Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Whoa. Azure Moon. Part two. Azure Moon. Ethereal Moon. Reunion at dawn. Uh... It is Imperial Year 1185. Nearly five years have passed since the fall of the monastery at Garrig Mach. And Whoa, Lord five years! To plague the lands of Fodlin. Ferdiad has been captured. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in shambles. The Leicester Alliance is on the verge of collapse, fractured by two opposing factions. Those who support the Adrestian Empire and its ruler, and those who seek her demise. Uh. Under Emperor Edelgard's rule of law, the Adrestian Empire continues to expand its reach. The path to a new Fodlin, unified by Imperial strength, may yet be in sight. Five... Five years?! Am I getting a time skip? You. How long do you intend to sleep? Wait. So this? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now. And you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, 
they kill. And so the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. I'm still sleepy. Who? I'm still sleepy. Oh, you are a complete and utter fool! Have you not changed one bit? Get on your feet. Right now. I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. At least you're back. I hope. Hey, are, are you awake? Huh? Uh, where am I? Wait, who are you? No. Where am I? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrick Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Shit! What do you mean? Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Anyway, I've heard some thieves have been spotted around those parts these days. Five years? Oh, wait, what year is it? Um, are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? Well, I'm a progenitor god, I kind of... Uh, I've been sleeping for five years?! It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? True. The Millennium Festival. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing and all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? I have to head back to the church. I have to make sure my students are alright. The monastery. Are you crazy? I, I told you. They say thieves are running amok up there. And there's plenty of other dangers, too. They won't stand they won't stand a chance against me. I heard a rumor that Imperial troops went up there to investigate and got slaughtered. Every last one. Well, if my students were the ones that did it, then I'm proud of them. Come on, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. Listen, I've been asleep for like five years, my clothes are still intact, my glasses are still intact, and I just look great. You just remember, I tried to stop you. Got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. No, it's fine, thank you. My students are waiting for me. Students? You really are crazy, aren't you? There aren't any kids anywhere near that place anymore. Five years. Unbelievable. I hope they're okay. Okay, it's, admittedly, it's been about five years. I'm still kind of hungry. It's been a while. Uh, I'm not in the mood of eating people. Okay. <gasps> Dimitri? Whoa! Dude, look at you. I should have known that one day you would be haunting me as well. Dimitri, my God, look at you, man. What must I do to be rid of you? What the hell? Look at you! I will kill that woman, I swear it! Do not look upon me with scorn in your eyes! Oh my god, these years have not been kind to you. What are you talking about? Everything will be okay. No. You... It can't be! You're alive? Yep. If that is the case... That can only mean you are another Imperial spy. Did you come here to kill me? My god, these years have not been kind to you. Answer the question. 
Of course not. <sighs> I'm glad you're safe. Am I? What happened to everybody else? What have you been doing the past five years? I have been dead, more or less. Why do you say that? What do you hope to gain asking me that? There are more important matters at hand. Mm. Do you not smell them? Filthy rats everywhere. And traces of those who were here long ago. And thieves crawling from the woodwork, attracted by the promise of treasure. <laughs> Since the monastery fell, order in this area fell right along with it. I imagine. You must have seen the state of the town near Garrick Mach on your way here. <sighs> Vile thieves run rampant. They pillage and loot to their heart's content. I must kill them. Every last one. <sighs> It's time to hunt down their nest. What do you plan to do? I told you, I will kill them all. Even thieves are just trying to survive. We don't have to kill them to stop them. They must die. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. Or do you condone their actions? Do you believe that the pillaging and slaughtering those rats live for is justified? <clears throat> it is reprehensible, and they must be put down. I intend to give them a taste of the pain they have inflicted on others. Off topic, I kind of like your design. Even if it means becoming a rat myself, I swore to at least do that much. I will not let them down. Where's everybody else? How many thieves are there? Can just the two of us hope to prevail? It doesn't matter. All that matters is killing those who deserve to die. My god, Dimitri. <gasps> Gilbert! Good work. I should have known to check the monastery. Let's move quickly. Yes, sir! Dimitri, I'm on my way. G Gilbert? In the holy kingdom of Fargus, Imperial Loyalist Cornelia has subdued all regions of the former royal house of Blathed to prevent further revolt. Shit. Prince Dimitri has been sentenced. Now, the backbone of the former kingdom, houses Gautier and Fraldarius struggle to continue the resistance. Cornelia, operating out of the royal palace, has accepted the support of the Empire to build an army and plots to wipe out all remaining Kingdom forces. In the Leicester Alliance, House Regan leads an anti-Imperial faction, while House Gloucester directs the Empire's supporters. Hmm. Despite the undeniable threat of fracture, the Alliance's adept new leader, Claude, Holy deftly sh maintains the outward appearance of a unified front. Holy shit, Claude! Look at you! You've got facial hair! In Enbar, the imperial capital of the Adrestian Empire, Emperor Edelgard fights to strengthen her regime. Sup, bitch? She has extended her reach to the kingdom by inciting a coup and continues to draw its former lords under her influence in pursuit of controlling all of Western Fodlan. Shit. Holy fuck, a lot has happened in the, the past meantime, five years. The Knights of Seros have been dispatched to find Archbishop Rhea, who remains missing despite their searching. Left unattended, the monastery at Garag Mach has fallen to ruin and become a haven for thieves. Well then. Guess we'll just have to take care of that, then, won't we? Holy shit!
I was not prepared for a five year time. I was not prepared for a time skip in general. I, I just thought that it would keep on going, but oh my god, wait, does that mean everybody's changed their appearance now? Oh shit. I'm kind of excited. I kind of want to see what all the characters' new designs are now, but uh, I'm hun hunting by daybreak. Azure Moon, Chapter Thirteen, Reunion at Dawn. It smells of blood and sewage. Seems I found their nest. Uh. What the intruders? Protect the goods. <gasps> Pilardo. Uh. Shall we go rat hunting? Don't let a single vermin escape. Can I? Do I not have an option? To, okay, I can bookmark. Uh, also? Okay, he kept all of his equipment, and it looks like it got fixed up. Okay, uh... Hi, Lord. With an air of authority and true mastery of the lands, this figure rules over both generals and lords. Did he get a new ability or something like that? Royal Lineage. Grants avoidance plus 20 while HP is... Uh... I need to, um, this is quite a bit of an overload of, oh my god, that's a lot of items, actually. Hexlock shield. I want that. Okay, um, I'm going to end it here, obviously, and I will have a, uh, I, 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 uh, I, uh, I am kind of at a loss for words right now. Oh my god, Dimitri. Holy shit. This has not been kind to you at all. I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I am kind of... Uh, ooh. We'll take care of this next time. Holy sh... Thank you all so much for watching. I um, I, 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 I will see you guys next time. Holy fuck. Hello there everybody, Sabana92 here, and if you like this video, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And hey, if you guys like my content, then maybe you'd like to check out another channel who I think deserves equal attention. So click that nightmare emblem and check out that channel, or go to the links in the description down below. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.